How does one become a successful person? Success here is not only for oneself, but can also save others. It is this success that is saved from loss in this world and the hereafter. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wal'asri inna al-insana lafi khusrin illa al-lazina amanu illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu al-salihati wa tawasaw bil-haqqi wa tawasaw bil-sabr Consider the following interpretation of Surah Al-Ashr. Allah Ta'ala says, by the time. Verily, mankind is indeed in loss, except for those who believe and do righteous deeds and advise others to obey the truth and counsel others to patience. Q.S. Al-Ashr, 1-3. By time. Allah swears by Al-Ashr, which means time or age. Because this age is a great favor given to humans. This age is used to worship Allah. Because of age, man becomes noble and if Allah decides, he will enter heaven. Man is truly in loss. Man is truly in loss. Loss here is the opposite of good fortune. There are two kinds of loss, said Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Nashir as Sidi. May Allah have mercy on him. The first is absolute loss, which is a person who loses in this world and the hereafter. He misses out on favors and gets punished in the hell of Jaheen. The second is loss from some sides, not others. Allah globalizes the loss of every human being except those who have four characteristics. 1. Faith. 2. Doing righteous deeds. 3. Advising one another in righteousness. 4. Advising one another in patience. 1. Those who have faith. The first of the survivors of loss is those who have faith. Sheikh as Sidi explained that what is meant is the commandment to believe in Allah and belief in Him is not obtained except with knowledge. Faith is obtained from knowledge. Sheikh Sholay Alu Sheikh said that faith must include words, deeds and beliefs. This belief, itikad, is knowledge. This is because knowledge comes from the heart and intellect. So the one with knowledge is clearly saved from loss. To those who do righteous deeds. This refers to those who do all good deeds, both external and internal, relating to Allah's rights and human rights, obligatory and recommended. 3. Those who advise one another in righteousness. What is meant is advising each other in the two things mentioned earlier. They advise, motivate, and encourage each other to believe and do righteous deeds. 4. Those who advise one another in patience. They advise each other to be patient in obeying Allah and avoiding sin as well as to be patient in the face of Allah's destiny, which is painful. Because there are three kinds of patience sad face, 1. Patience in doing obedience, 2. Patience in avoiding sin, 3. Patience in facing Allah's destiny which feels pleasant or painful. Success in self and others. Sheikh as Sidi, may Allah have mercy on him, explained, the first two things, faith and righteous deeds, are to perfect the human self. While the next two things are to perfect others. A person reaches perfection if he does these four things. That is the man who will be saved from loss and gain great fortune. Tezir al karamir Rahman, page 934. Sufficient with Surah al-Ashr. If Allah had made the proof only with this Surah al-Ashr, it would have been a strong proof for the people. So people are all in loss except those who have four characteristics sad face, 1. Knowledge, 2 righteous deeds, 3, preaching, and, 4, patience. Imam Shafi'i, may Allah have mercy on him, once said. Had Allah made this surah a proof for his servants, it would have sufficed them. This was quoted by Sheikh Muhammad at Tamimi in Salatsatul Yushul. May Allah make us among those who are successful and safe from loss in this world and the next.